Yes, guys, it is not a drill. The entire Sparking Zero roster just got absolutely leaked everywhere. I'm sure you may have seen some stuff about it already, but man, it is absolutely crazy the different characters that are shown here. And we're gonna be covering it today here. Unfortunately, I got spoiled, so I'm like, hey, you know, let's just let's just get it out of the way. Um, if you don't want to get spoiled, if you don't want to like have anything in, in the way of your future reactions or anything like that, please literally click off the video right now. I'm I'm just gonna go right into it. Uh, there's a pre-order DLC character that we most likely know, and there's just a lot of surprises uh, in this specific video here that unfortunately got leaked ahead of time. Um, but of course, we're going to go ahead and just cover it right here because I am a news channel at the end of the day, right? Uh, but I just want to make sure you guys are aware. Again, spoilers starting from here. Uh, the pre-order DLC character for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Just going to hop right into it. Looks like it is Daima Goku. Uh, it seems like to be the pre-order character. I'm trying to move this around, but I can't. Yeah, um, which a lot of us did expect. Like, okay, well, duh. Yeah, Daima Goku as the pre-order character. That makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, by the way, I'm not actually showing the video itself um, for reasons. But, you know, <laughs> uh, trust me in that, you know, the video was leaked. And then this is all the characters that's going to be available uh, in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It looks like, at least from what we saw. Daima Goku. Um, it makes again tons of sense that he's a pre-order character. They're probably just gonna go ahead and announce him during the Daima reveal. During uh like it's right before like the pre-order bonus would like actually start with the three days ahead, because the Daima reveal is on the sixth, right? For like Sparking Zero and Dragon Ball Z Dogan Battle and La Dragon Ball Legends. Um so they're probably going to announce them then, I guess. And then they're going to be like, oh, you know, if you get the game right now and pre-order it, you can get uh, all th this character, right? Or maybe they show him ahead of time and then reveal like what he looks like there. I don't know, but um, we'll see. We'll see for sure what happens there with Diamond Goku. Oh, another thing about the roster. It's actually, okay, well, I said it was a full roster, but it looks like it actually might end up being incomplete. And the reason why is because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta shown to us yesterday was not there bardock that was shown to us a while ago uh, i don't know if i could find bardock here i might have just skipped past him already bardock that was shown to us is actually also not in there so um that plus the character models look extremely unfinished like it's not that's, that's not even putting it I, I, like that's putting it very nicely the, the models do not look good a lot of them and they look extremely unpolished and like doing weird stuff so there could still be more characters than what's shown here og dragon ball kid goku's in right we kind of expected that but kid goku's actually in there uh he's in his orange gi i got a picture of him in his blue gi but he is actually in his orange gi it looks like does not look like there's a great ape goku transformation but again the roster's unfinished we could still get a great ape kid goku variant of this guy when he transforms into great ape and that makes a lot of sense to me and that's another thing that points off to me like oh this might not be the like entire final roster but we still have like 20 plus characters so we know for sure they're expanding the grid which is kind of crazy but uh kid goku we see is here very very cool uh and then we move into movies right you know unfortunately it seems like again demon king piccolo is not there yet if kid goku's in there i would assume demon king piccolo is going to be in there but we'll see garlic jr first Dragon Ball Z movie and not a lot of people really care about him outside the memes but hey you know it's nice to have him included in here same with Dr. Relo, he is actually included in the game, the movie 2 a villain. And you know, you gotta see where we're going. We're just moving down the roster here. Movies, we move on to movie 3, Turles. Now, I think Turles, you know, is a closer to popular movie villain character than like, you know, Dr. Relo and Garlic Jr., right? So this guy being revealed, oh, my throat feels kind of scratchy. My bad. <laughs> this guy being revealed here, I think makes a lot of sense um, in terms of like if he was going to be one of the movie characters put in, like if they're going to do a section for movies, this guy would make sense. But it looks like, again, they're doing all the movies. So moving down, we actually are getting Lord Slug Youth. It looks like we're not getting the old Lord Slug, which makes sense because he doesn't bite. Then we're also getting a giant form Lord Slug, which is, again, I'm kind of thinking, well, you know, they have giant form Lord Slug. I'm sure we'll get Kid Goku. This makes me think maybe we could see, you, like, old Demon King Piccolo and then youth Demon King Piccolo. Because for Demon King Piccolo, he fought in both his old form and his youth form. Which means that could be potentially three characters that we're missing. Um, 
So, I mean, technically it's five if we count Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4, and Bardock in that build. It looks like, again, there's still a couple of missing characters. Uh, this is me Googling for it. <laughs> uh, we see Cooler. Cooler is a confirmed, and I think this is a big one. Uh, you know, even though I'm upset at the leak, I am excited to see that Cooler will be in the game. Cooler is a great Dragon Ball Z villain. And, you know, we have his final form as well that you could, of course, transform into. Can't wait to see how this looks like. I, his transformation is going to look absolutely beautiful. It's going to look just great. I, I, I don't think we saw anything like that of how it looks like. But, man, this transformation scene is going to hit so 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 hard so I, I actually literally i literally cannot wait uh to see how that's actually gonna end up being we have metal cooler as well so if you like metal cooler you know maybe even more than the final form cooler i feel like that's like a minority take like in terms of like oh you know how much of the dragon ball phantom likes metal cooler over final form cooler but metal cooler he's still cool and it's still good to have the option there he does have a different list of moves and again you know all these characters i believe uh, at least like the coolers for sure were in BT3. Like I, I say stuff like that, but then sometimes I just forget <laughs> the BT3 roster because it's like there's so many characters at the top of my head. It's hard to keep track of it. So yeah, cooler is a great choice there. Uh, we definitely do love cooler for sure. Next, Android 13. And then we actually do have super Android 13 as well. Um... But you know, I think Android 13 is cool. Personally, I think it's cool. There's that's a whole there's a whole theory about him being designed behind Jero's youth, which I find really interesting, <laughs> even though it's just a theory, which tells you a lot about the character if I find a theory more interesting. But <laughs> I think he I think he's overall fine, you know, for a movies villain, right? You know, as an Android character. It gave us cool moments from the movies. I like really zoomed into his face. Goodness, oh my god, dude, those 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 specs go crazy. Okay, but anyways. Next here, we have Dragon Ball Z Broly. Super Saiyan Dragon Ball Z Broly with the blue hair. He specifically has the blue hair, guys. We won. We won, chat. He has the blue hair. We're good. He has blue hair and pronouns. Let's go. Okay. But I, I really do like the restricted form. Looks great. Let me see Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Obviously, uh, he was going to be... To me, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly being in the game is a no-brainer obviously he was actually going to end up being in the game like that just makes too much sense duh i mean like it's kind of it's a thing where with a w w with movies being influential in here and i i did think like super gogeta and characters like that were going to be in uh i think i thought Janemba was already going to be in before then broly was like one of my shoe -ins. i'm like they're gonna put broly in the game bro it's it's broly we have all the forms of Broly too, which is nice. Again, they're all in BT3, but I think a lot of people will be excited about the blue hair form for Broly specifically. Uh, Bojack here. We see Bojack is actually um, confirmed here with his full power Bojack form. So again, we're getting some um, movie 10 stuff. No, there's movie 9. Movie 9 stuff here as well with Bojack. And maybe we could see an alternate costume for that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I think that'd be really cool. Like with the... Um, with the actual turtle school gi, the orange and blue gi looks really, really sick. Fat Janemba, Super Janemba, Bam Bam, another giant character. We'd love to see it. Janemba right here, obviously, I mean, Jamba is really, really cool. So I do like the fact that Janemba is actually genuinely included. Super Gogeta's in. Duh. I mean, we, we all knew Super Gogeta was going to be in. Uh, he's going to fit right in that space next to Blue Go uh Not Blue Gogeta. Yeah, no, it is Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's just going to plop right in there, right? You know, it's right there. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so I already expected him to show up, especially because we already knew NZ Goku had like a third transformation or, yeah, a third transformation wheel, which the extra ones are usually just for fusions. And we saw that there is a second one uh, in terms of fusions for that Goku. So, um, obviously, like, and Z Goku won't be able to fuse into Blue Gogeta from Dragon Ball Super, right? So it looks like, again, of course, we are getting Z Gogeta, which is very awesome. Tapion is in. I actually really like Tapion, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Tapion, dude. We love to see Tapion in representation. Then we see Hirudegarn in here. I think this is my Google search for it. Yeah. We see Hirudegarn as well, which makes sense because we see Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So I feel like I'm going to be kind of weird to have Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku and not Wrath of the Dragon, but there we go. Uh, now we move into Dragon Ball Super stuff. So God Topo 
right god topo is actually there as well uh we see god topo you know again that that makes a lot of sense to me that god topo was actually properly represented um yeah, I mean, uh, he was going to be in the game because we have base Topo, and it'd be weird to not have God Topo. We have Kaba, Super Saiyan Kaba, and Super Saiyan 2 Kaba as well. So that's all pretty neat. You know, turn we were missing these tournament power characters, so that makes sense. But again, from what we know, that's it. And, you know, again, this roster looks to be uncompleted still even with all these crazy extra movies villains i mean just to sum it down for you we got all the movies uh representation in the game from dragon ball z we got super gojita in there as well we ended up getting og dragon ball with kid goku we ended up getting dragon ball super extra stuff with god topo kaba right there's a lot of characters there so i mean i am gonna assume that we're actually gonna get like two more trailers like in the next two weeks, we might get two more trailers. Well, three weeks, kind of. Well, actually, it's four weeks for the release. But you guys, you guys get the point, right? I think we're going to get like at least two more trailers or three even, um, which is very cool. We could see more characters than what we're shown. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see Demon King Piccolo. I'm pretty sure we'll see Great Ape Kid Goku. Uh, you know, again, because because specifically Super Saiyan 4 Regina Bardock weren't shown in there. I think that we could see even more than this. So that's very exciting. But let me know what you guys are thinking. Hopefully, there's no more leaks and we actually get sit down and watch the reveal and be excited all together. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.